to the next morning session. Uh, we are continuing with the talk by Dr. Mariana Tanasova. Uh, she's a researcher in the group of Professor Irini Dujinova at the Medical University of Sofia. Uh, she, uh, is, uh, she applies molecular docking and molecular simulations to study ligand protein interactions, and her talk is entitled Beyond in Circo Simulations, a case study on acetylcholinerestase inhibitors. I'm not sure that I pronounced this correctly. I apologize. You have uh, 30 minutes. Okay, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, everyone. So I'll present our latest on the acetylcholinesterase uh, inhibitor. So thank you for your um, introduction. Uh, so a few words for Alzheimer's disease, so, which is one of white, uh, of one white spread uh, type of the dementia worldwide. It's a neurodegenerative disorder characterized by progressive and irreversible loss of hippocampal and cortical neurons. The pathological hallmarks of the disease are extracellular, heart and insoluble amyloid beta plaques uh, in hindering the communication between neurons. And intracellular neurofibroid angles of abnormally hyperphosphorylated tau proteins that inhibit the transmission of, of uh, nutrients and other substances uh, within the neuron. These pathological deformations uh, lead to synaptic degeneration and neuronal death, uh, resulting in short-term memory loss, uh, impairment in cognitive function, as uh, thinking, speaking, learning, orientation, judgment, communication, etc. Uh, so one of the biochemical factors related with cognitive dysfunction is the continuous loss of neurotransmitter acetylcholine. And therefore, increasing the acetylcholine levels will improve the cognition. This can be done by inhibiting the enzyme, the enzyme uh, acetylcholine esterase. Uh, the enzyme is located in the synaptic clefts and responsible for breaking down the um, acetylcholine uh, into choline and acetyl. And this concept uh, lies in the cholinergic hypothesis for symptomatic treatment of the disease. The binding site of acetylcholinesterase is, when, uh, is well known. It consists of several domains, uh, catalytic, anionic, acyl pocket, union hole, and peripheral anionic site. The enzyme, the enzyme is also involved in non-cholinergic functions. One of them is acting as a nucleus in amyloidosis, forming toxic complexes with amyloid beta peptide. Uh, the current drugs uh, acting as acetylcholinesterase inhibitors are galantamine, rivastigmine, and donepezil. Huperazine A is approved as a drug for treatment of Alzheimer's disease in China, and it is used as a dairy supplement for memory functions improvement in USA. The drugs do not lack side effects, therefore, uh, the search of new acetylcholinesterase inhibitors is keep going. Uh, the aim of the study is to discover new compounds with dual side binding to the acetylcholinesterase with potential multi target action. Uh, we selected to design hybrids uh, between galantamine and curcumin because curcumin is known as a strong inhibitor of the amyloid aggregation. We designed a fragment-based combinatorial library of 72 hybrids mo hybrid molecules uh, by combining nine linkers and eight aromatic, eight aromatic fragments. Linkers and fragments uh, mimic uh, parts of the curcumin structure. So initially, uh, the hybrids were, sub were subject to 11 ADMI filters, uh, nine for blood brain permeability, and one for a ga gastrointestinal absorption, and one for non specific interactions with numerous biological targets denoted with PAANs. Uh, 40 co uh, 44 compounds passed. Uh, of the initial test, uh, they were docked into the acetylcholinesterase binding site using a protocol that was previously optimized in terms of scoring function, rigid or flexible binding site, and ligand uh, radius of the binding site, presence or absence of water molecule within the binding site. 
Uh, here are given the goal scores for some of the hybrid. And uh, in order to examine the relationship between the docking scores and the acetylcholinesterase race activity, compounds with high, moderate, and low goal scores were selected for synthesis. In total, 14 compounds were synthesized. Before tested for uh, the acetylcholinesterase activity, they were tested for neurotoxicity on marine neuroblastoma, neuro 2A cells, as galantamine and cocamine were used as reference compounds. Uh, five compounds were less toxic, they are shown here uh, in bold, uh, than curcumin, and only they were tested for uh, anti acetylcholinesterase activity. As can be seen, all five hybrids showed uh, activities higher than the activity of galantamine and are between 4 and 186 times more active than it. Next, uh, various uh, physical chemical properties and pharmacokinetic parameters were calculated of, for these five compounds. Molecular weights of uh, the compounds are around 500. The PKA values are close to the PKA value of galantamine. Uh, the hybrids are more lipophilic uh, than galantamine according to their uh, log D values. Although the hybrids were more lipophilic than galantamine, they had uh, power surface areas uh, wider than galantamine, but lower if normalized unit mass. Uh, there was only one hydrogen bond receptors, uh, donors uh, in the uh, molecules. This is the hydrogen atom from the ammonium cation, while the number of the hydrogen bond receptors um, depend on the number of the oxygen atom within the molecules. But for all active compounds, uh, there were up to 10. According to the ionized fraction, uh, compounds for, for A, for B, E, and F uh, are moderate bases as 70% uh, ionized at physiological pH, uh, uh, while, like galantamine, while compound 8B is a very weak base with only 30% ionized. The predicted steady state volume of distribution values uh, of the hybrids 4A, B, E, and F are almost three times bigger than the volume of distribution of 8B. The tested compounds binds, uh, uh, bind extensively to the plasma protein according to the predicted free fraction of uh, drug in the plasma. And their predicted values uh, for clearance uh, show that the hybrids are low clearance uh, compounds with clearances between uh, below 37 of uh, hepatic uh, blood flow. Their half-lives uh, half are moderate, allowing to the convenient, uh, allowing convenient multiple dose regimens. All these uh, pharmacokinetic parameters uh, were predicted using uh, previously derived uh, quantitative structure, pharmacokinetics relationships uh, in our lab. Here, the intermolecular interactions of the docking poses uh, for the five non-toxic compounds are presented. The galantamine part forms a dense network of hydrogen bonds, which is shown here, uh, between uh, galantamine ammonium uh, group and tyrosine 337, between the methoxy group and uh, serine, uh, serine uh, 203, and between the hydrox uh, hydroxyl group acid 202. The carbon atom of the unsaturated part from the linker is also involved in P-pi with tryptophan uh, 286 or tyrosine 72 in the case of 8B and 4E. Uh, oxygen atom from the carbonyl group of the linker uh, formed uh, the additional hydrogen bond with tyrosine uh, 124 in the case of 4E and B. The terminal part, aromatic parts of the molecule, is well fitted in the uh, peripheral animal, uh, anionic side, uh, different orientations, but uh, all of them make uh, pi pi uh, stacking with uh, tryptophan one, uh, 286 or uh, tyrosine uh, 72. A special attention deserves compound 4B as the most active and the least toxic compound in the text. 
in the test. It is very close to uh, 4A and 4B. I'll just show you uh, their final uh, their structures uh, where they are, the structures are differentiated. Actually, uh, they uh, differentiate only the terminal part where uh, 4B have an additional group according to A and F uh, compound. Um, the, but they are uh, in vitro. Uh, just to show uh, the two half and the four, uh, two and a half uh, times difference in their activity between 4B and 4A mm, cannot uh, uh, the docking protocol actually and the doc, the, doc, the docking uh, results cannot uh, explain this difference because uh, from the dockings we uh, find one and the same uh, mode of binding. Therefore, we uh, decided to uh, see the complex between 4B and uh, and uh, mm, enzyme by molecular dynamic simulation. So the MD simulation showed that this uh, uh, methoxy group and the phenyl uh, group at the terminal part uh, forms an additional hydrogen bond with tyrosine 72. At some of the initial frames, uh, Heistin 287 is also uh, coming uh, quite uh, close to, the, to this group, but not enough to form a long-lasting hydrogen bond. So this additional hydrogen bond, uh, which is absent in the complex uh, between 4A and acetylcholinesterase, explains the better binding of uh, this compound to the enzyme. Next. Acute uh, toxicity assays, uh, assay was performed on female mice after oral administration of 4B. The median lethal 4B was uh, 49 uh, milligrams per kilogram and uh, no changes in size, color and uh, consistency of the lungs, liver, heart, kidney, stomach, spleen and intestine were observed. No abnormalities in the morphology of the gonads and brain were detected. Uh, the short-term toxicity of 4B was assessed on the male mice by daily administration of 2.5 milligrams, which is one-tenth of the lethal dose, and 5 milligrams uh, per kilogram, uh, which is one-tenth of the lethal dose, uh, for 14 days. As uh, positive controls, galantamine in dose of uh, 3 milligrams per kilogram and curcumin in dose of uh, 25 milligrams per, per kilo, which is one-tenth of their uh, lethal doses, were used. A control or placebo group was also included in the test, uh, and no behavioral changes and signs of toxicity were observed. After that, uh, blood was taken for complete blood count and biochemistry measurements. At stucholinesterase inhibition, malodialdehyde and glutathione levels uh, in the brain uh, were measured. So the results are shown here. And the stucholinesterase activity was measured for 10 minutes by Elman's methods, and the results are shown here in left. Curcumin caused a mild decrease in the acetylcholinesterase activity, followed by galantamine and 4B. The dose of 5 milligrams per kilogram 4B causes 25% inhibition of the enzyme activity compared to the control group. Tested in vivo, 4B showed 186 times higher inhibitory effect on the acetylcholinesterase than galantamine. Uh, the mild difference here in the ex vivo experience of acetylcholinesterase inhibition between 4B and galantamine might be indicative for a recovery of the acetylcholinesterase levels due to high spontaneous reactivation of the enzyme associated with uh, rapid synthesis and release of new enzyme from the liver. Uh, the acetylcholinesterase inhibition in vivo is associated with increased uh, oxidative stress. In response, the increased oxidative stress mediates an increase in the acetylcholinesterase activity. The antioxidant activity of the tested compounds after 40-day treatment was assessed by measuring the levels of malodialdehyde and glutathione in mice brain homogenates. Both compounds are specific markers uh, for oxidative stress. It is evident that uh, in both tests, 4B has equal or even better antioxidant activity than galantamine. 
Диша, нали, the antioxidant activity of galantamine, cocamine and 4B was assessed by two methods for radical scavengering, DPPH and ABTS, and one method for uh, reducing power, FRAP. As uh, butyl hydroxytol wall uh, was used as a positive control. In the DPPH activity, the DPPH activity range from uh, 2.6 to 3 for galantamine to 10.03 for cocamine. For B, uh, showed an intermediate activity with 7.32. Uh, the results were expressed as micromolar trox equivalent. In the ABTS assay, 4B did the highest capacity for 101.22, which is stronger even, that, uh, even than that of the positive control of, of uh, butyl hydroxytol wall. In the FRAP assay, curcumin showed the highest activity regarding to its reducing power, which is followed by 4B and uh, galantamine. The inhibition of uh, lipid peroxidation was monitored for five. The increase in the absorbance indicates peroxide, uh, peroxide formation. Such, uh, such an increase was observed initially for galantamine and curcumin on the day two, which uh, galantamine here is in red and curcumin is in yellow, uh, which uh, is uh, mm, uh, uh, and after that, uh, the, uh, uh, the absorbance uh, remained constant. A slight second increase was observed for curcumin on day five. On the contrary, 4B, which is shown in green, uh, has a lower absorbance that um, showed actually immediately increase in the absorbance on day two, and then a gradual increase of the level of curcumin on day four and on day five, uh, actually uh, 4B has a lower absorbance uh, than both galantamine and curcumin. Thus uh, 4B protects better against uh, peroxide formation than its lead galantamine and curcumin. In general, the in vitro antioxidant, antioxidant assays, DPPH, ABTS, FRAP, and uh, inhibition of lipid per, uh, peroxidation confirmed the results found uh, in the ex vivo experiments. And finally, the effects of uh, 4B and galantamine were tested on human neuroblastoma cells by amyloid beta. Four scenarios uh, uh, were designed. Compounds were administered uh, as single treatment, administered simultaneously with amyloid beta peptides, and administered before or after amyloid beta peptides. The single administration uh, indicates that amyloid beta is toxic uh, for the cells, uh, as the virease is by 35%. Both galantamine and uh, 4B themselves are non-toxic for the cells. Administered simultaneously with amyloid beta, galantamine and 4B uh, show an immediate protection of the cells. Protection by uh, 4B is higher than the protection of galantamine. In the third scenario, the cells were pre-incubated in the tested compounds for 24 hours, followed by the addition of uh, amyloid beta peptides. Uh, the aim of this test is to examine the ability of the compounds to prevent amyloid beta cytotoxicity. It is evident that both compounds prevent amyloid beta toxicity, as 4B performs slightly better than galantamine. And in the fourth scenario, the cells uh, were pre-incubated with amyloid beta peptides for 24 hours, and then the tested compounds were added. The results here are indicative for the ability of the compounds to repair the damage caused by the amyloid beta and to restore the cell viability. Here again, the two compounds uh, revive the cells as galantamine slightly uh, 4B. As a possible, uh, as a possible uh, mode of this protection, we suggest an austeritic uh, um, an allosteric uh, modulation of uh, alpha-7 nicotinic steel uh, choline receptors, as there are such an experimental data for gallant. 
In summary, 72 compounds were designed and tested for admit filters. 44 of them uh, passed uh, the filters and were uh, docked uh, into the binding site of the acetylcholinesterase. Uh, 14 compounds were synthesized for neurotoxicity. Five were non-toxic and were tested for uh, anti-acetylcholinesterase activity. The compounds show, uh, showed uh, better uh, between uh, 20, uh, 41 and 186 times more active than galantamine. Uh, the non-toxic and most active compound for B was further investigated in vivo, ex vivo, and in vitro. And the results indicate that compound 4B is comparable to galantamine. It is low toxic with anti acetylcholinesterase antioxidant, and anti-amyloid beta activity. Therefore, uh, 4B has emerged as a promising multi-target agent for a complex treatment of neurodegenerative disorder. So uh, this uh, um, study, uh, the publications related with the study is uh, presented here. And, uh, acknowledgement for the support the, for this um, research uh, for, uh, and your attention, attention. So I'm here for questions. Thank you. Uh, I saw one question in the chat. How was the clearance and plasma protein binding were calculated? Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, this is uh, by uh, models uh, that uh, are uh, previously derived in our lab. So just need to find this uh, uh, slide. Uh, here are the papers that these pharmacokinetic parameters, the models that were uh, derived, uh, published already. Could so, you uh, put the references in the chat so that uh, the... Yes, yes. Sure. Yeah. I'll copy them. Thank you.